When you see folks getting ready for storms like this, the way that region takes a brunt of these kinds of storms a lot. This one could be worse, but still folks got to get ready. You know, it's coastal Louisiana. It floods very easily, and that mark is on top of them receiving rain already earlier in the week, and this is just going to contribute to that. So here's what's happening now. You have that center of circulation from Francine, and you can see a well-defined eye. You can see the really bright colors. That's where we see the heaviest rain on the northern and right-hand side of that track. So currently a category one hurricane with max Sustained winds at 90 miles per hour, wind gusts of 115 miles per hour as it continues its northward trek at about 10 miles per hour. So here's what happens in the next few hours. This is going to continue to strengthen a category two storm looking likely at landfall sometime this afternoon, right around Grand Isle as it makes its way then to Baton Rouge, weakening quickly to a tropical storm. But even then, heavy rain, strong winds expected, and this will happen over overnight eventually continues its trek along the Mississippi, bringing in heavy rain inland throughout the remainder of the week. As far as what it looks like on our time cast, you can see there the heaviest rain piling in over New Orleans areas of Mississippi and eventually this not only the strong winds with the heavy rain along areas close to the Mississippi River, Jackson closer to Memphis as we head towards Friday, bulking, uh, bringing in that heavy rain, prepping for that heavy rain. Meanwhile, very dry on the left hand side of that track. So because of this hurricane warnings in place right along that Louisiana coastline, the Texas coast no longer included in any of those watches or warnings. However, still possible to see one to three feet of storm surge anywhere from Galveston close to Beaumont, and that's water that's getting pushed inland thanks to the choppy water that we're going to see the highest storm surge by far closer to Grand Isle on that Louisiana coastline four to seven feet of storm surge in addition to the heavy rain that is going to accumulate anywhere from six to eight inches. Cleo, this is going to be a big rainmaker, a big flood threat and factor in the strong winds could cause some down trees. So something to definitely watch. This will also be a big rainmaker for the rest of Mississippi and Western Tennessee. So again, something to watch here in the days to come. Definitely.